Today we are going to talk a lot more with a lot more detail and things to think about to those big changes that Princess made yesterday in what they are charging for things and the Plus and the Premier packages and a little bit of perspective that really helps me out and I want to hear from you all about it. So let's go ahead and get started. Hi there, this is Allison with Let's Go Travel Tips and today is Friday, it's July 28th of 2023 and I want to start off by inviting you to please subscribe to our channel. I really appreciate your support and would love to have you with us and also if you appreciate my updates would you please give this video a thumbs up. It actually really does help us a lot. Along with that I would just like to ask a favor. We have got lots of new Let's Go family members here and we have got people that have been here with us since the beginning and all along the way and I'm delighted to have you with us and will you please stay with us watch our videos add in the comments because we have an amazing community here and I would like to hear a lot more from all of you because together uh, we're amazing together all right also if you do Facebook come and join us over on Facebook it's let's go travel tips we have a wonderful group there as well. Amazing community. So anyway, um, today let's start off by talking about what's going on with those changes. I want to reiterate that those changes start taking effect on August 2nd. So that's like next Wednesday. These changes are going to start to roll out on different ships. I was not able to find the document that says what day what ship is going to get it. I am not sure if they know that yet. Um, honestly, I don't know, or if I just can't find it, but I don't know. So anyway, these changes are taking effect basically immediately. The really important thing to remember, so I'm going to give you a structure of a way to think about these things so you know if you should stick without a package, if you should get which package, so a structure kind of to think about with this, and it's in a different way than I've done it before. So I hope you'll find this helpful. But if you booked the Princess Plus or Premier package before December 14th, 2022, so you booked your cruise before last December, that's the day when they made the changes, added things to the packages, and increased the price. If you booked before then, and you want all of the new things that are in the Plus or Premier package now, whichever one you had, you need to upgrade your package before you go, okay? I th I'm guessing that you can maybe do it on board the ship, but I'm not sure. So if you know you want these things, definitely pay for it uh, ahead of time, okay? It's just the different um, difference between the price, and um, yeah, it's really straightforward. So be thinking, as I tell you about these things, if you're going to want those with your Plus package. If you booked before December 14th of 2022, there are only three things in your Plus package. You get the gratuities, the Wi-Fi, and the beverage package. That's it. So that's just kind of a point of reference for where you are, okay? Now, um, be, as I start to talk about this, there's a few things that have come to my mind as I've had time to think about this ever since yesterday and coming into today. Um, I've looked at the packages a lot more closely. I've looked at all of the charges that go with it. I've looked at a lot of other cruise lines. Basically, um, it seems like Royal Caribbean is who Princess wants to kind of be put in that niche, but we've also got Carnival Norwegian, um, like I said, Royal Caribbean, Celebrity, those are your huge lines um, here in the United States that we think of. MSC is doing their best to get in that game, and I admire, I admire their efforts. They are really giving it a go, so I need to get on MSC sometime. But anyway, when you look at how much things cost um, on those lines for like your internet, for your beverages, for all of the, the gratuities, all those things that we think of, really, I think that um, truly where Princess is with these updates, we're right there with them. We are definitely not more than what they are paying. paying. We still um, are, it's a better price point on a lot of things. I don't work for Princess. I love to cruise on Princess. I'm never going to work for Princess, by the way. I love what I do here. Uh, so just this is my opinion, and I want to hear from all of you on it. But looking at the numbers, um, just picking cruises and then looking at how much the different packages cost and everything, I think we're in a really good place here with Princess. So want to throw that out there. Now, when you think of if you want to get the plus package, um, 
look I'm doing it on a seven day cruise okay and but you can easily just multiply it times two for your 14 days um, however you want to look at it but it's sixty dollars a day so when you look at your seven days you're looking at four hundred twenty dollars then um, if you are in a balcony an interior an ocean view or a balcony your gratuities are sixteen dollars a day if you're in a mini suite they're seventeen dollars a day and if you're in a suite they're eighteen dollars a day so I'm just taking the balcony um, the lowest as my example so if you're looking at that $16 a day times 7 is $112 then your Wi-Fi if you're not elite is um, $15 a day so that's $105 so if you are elite or platinum and you get that Wi-Fi for less just kind of thinking yourself well I'm saving $52.50 okay then if you look at that app activation fee that's $14.99 and if you look at the med uh, medallion shipping that's $10 and if you look at two casual dinings, those are $14.99 each, so that's $29.98. Um, after you subtract those things out, out of starting at $420 for your week, and you subtract out those items, you're sitting at $148.03 is what's left. And that $148.03 for seven days, you still can have all those drinks that are covered in the plus package. You still get to have all the juice you want. You still get those two fitness classes. You still get those premium desserts. Um, you can have two a day of those um, if you would like to. Um, like I said yesterday, I looked at the list when we were on board the ship, and I think the average is about $12 each on those. So if you enjoy those, um, that um, saves you $24 a day. So when I look at it and subtract those things out that way, suddenly, believe it or not, um, if you are going to drink $148 worth, even if you don't want the fitness classes, even if you don't want um, those premium desserts, if you're going to have very many beverages at all, and it would be $148, then that's a good um, point to be to go ahead and get that. If not, then don't. Or if you look and say, well, I when I go on a cruise, I don't want the Wi-Fi, I don't need the app, or I don't want those casual dinings, or I don't need my balance ship to me, all of those different things, then you can kind of adjust and think in your mind how you want to do it, okay? Like I said, I'm not telling you what to get. I'm just kind of outlining everything so that you can kind of think about it that way. Personally, um, Gordon and I have never gotten a package before um, because we don't drink alcohol. That's how I have always priced it in the past. But now if I go on a cruise and I want to have any of those casual dinings or if I want to have um, my medallion shipped to me, or, well, you can still pay $10 for that. But it, anyway, it's just kind of as a structure and a way to think about things, all right? It dep would depend on where I'm going, how many port days there are, um, all that kind of thing, if I would think that paying $148 for my drinks uh, was worth it, okay? there's a w I don't know that it is, quite truthfully, but, um, I did notice on Princess this time that like a fountain soda, it used to be $1.50, now it's $2. But that would be like 74 of those, right? That would be a lot of, of Diet Cokes for me. Um, all right, so that, that was just funny. So the Premier Package, let's talk about that as well for just a minute. And I do want to add that yesterday, as I was going through what is included in the Premier Package, I missed Princess Prizes. I double-checked their website. Princess Prizes is still on the list on the princess website okay so don't think princess prizes are gone we have had so many let's go family members win cruises with that it makes me happier many um it's awesome so anyway so with the premier package you do get the princess prizes there's really not a way that i can put a monetary number for that but be aware that you get that and that's an option to win things so looking at that it's 80 dollars a day so for a seven day cruise you're looking at 560 dollars i took off the gratuities again of 112 um, now the wi-fi is a little trickier so the wi-fi which is awesome with the premier package you get four devices per person so you can have your phone hooked up to the 
the Wi-Fi. You can have your and still have your iPad hooked up, still have your laptop, whatever. Um, I don't travel with four devices that I need the Wi-Fi for, but I really do like it for two, my phone and my laptop, because then I can talk to somebody on the phone about a cruise and use my laptop at the same time. Um, I love that. So um, anyway, so what I did, here's how I priced it. So I went ahead for everybody who's thinking, well, I only want one device, I took off $105. But keep in your mind that it is if you want those four devices, that's $40 a day. Okay, if you're just going to pay for them. So if you are elite or platinum, then you get that for um, $20 a day. But um, we're looking... Um, so if you're looking basically seven days at 40 bucks a day, that's $280. So I took off, um, uh, Gordon's making a fancy thing here for me, so I've noted, but kind of keep that Wi-Fi wiggling in your mind. Really evaluate it with what would be convenient for you. Okay, I know a lot of people that travel with their phone and their iPad, and they love that they both will stay on the internet. Um, then we've also got um, that app activation. We've got the medallion shipping two specialty dining, so that's $78. And then um, the casual dinings, you get unlimited casual dinings. Unlimited casual dinings. So if you are on the ship and you're not crazy about the main dining room, you can go to a casual dining every night if you want to and mix it in with your specialty dinings. I, I kind of do like that option, truthfully. I think that's very nice. Um, so you've got that. And then um, once I take off um, just two, I only took off for two casual dinings. I didn't take off one for every night. Once I take off all of those things, we are sitting at $210.03. And that's only taking off um, for one um uh, one device on the Wi-Fi. So if you're going to take off, if you really love that you're going to get four and you want to price it that way, um, you're already ahead. Then on top of that, you get that unlimited photo package. That unlimited photo package, it used to be $199. Um, I'll have Gordon put it up here, but I took photos of the packages that are available. The packages that you can buy for photos on the ship are the same in the cruise planner and what you can buy on board. And so you really save, if you wanna get pictures, it's really, you're doing better to get the premier package, honestly, because of how much it costs. That um, the two um, hundred and ten dollars is be like you get all your drinks for that much. You get all those um, all those fitness classes, all the premium desserts. You get all your room service. Oh, I forgot to tell you about room service on the plus package. You still get all that room service, and finally, you get that reserved theater seating. Now, so I'm not tucking into or out of a package. I am saying that honestly, when I price it out, if you want the things that I listed. I think it's a pretty good deal. There you go. Um, I And I love, I have, I have loved reading your comments over the last few days. I have my notebook here. Sorry if there's noise. Um, I really, um, since yesterday, I have read every, every single one of your comments. I haven't had time to reply yet, but I really appreciate how thoughtful all of you are and how willing and kind you are to share your cruise experience, what has really worked well for you. Um, I have had several that, comments that I have read that really have made me think twice about the way I've thought about things and opened my eyes to some things. So thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And um, so when I think of all of these things, um, I know that a lot of people are not really happy about the new price, the things that they're going to charge for, especially people that have never gotten a package before. If you've always gotten a package, then it's no big deal. It's still included in the package. But if you haven't, it seems like it's another thing. It is another thing to pay for. At the same time, um, I was talking to Gordon and he's like, well, you know what? The airline started charging baggage fees and we didn't quit flying. It's true. What did we do? We looked around and we got a credit card for the airlines that we use the most that we get free bags with it. Um, we did that a long time ago when they made those changes. And in the long run, we have saved a lot of money by having that credit card and using it to cover our baggage fees. But we didn't decide to stay home and quit going because they charged more. We just figured out the best way for us to manage it. And I think that is the same with cruising. Whether you're choosing Princess, whether you're choosing another cruise line, you choose what you want to do 
and figure out the very best way to manage it. Um, I really appreciated one person put in the comment and said, you know, I'm going on a cruise to enjoy going. I'm not going to go worrying about a $14.99 charge um, for something. I'm just going to go enjoy my cruise. And as I thought about that, I looked back at this cruise that Gordon and I were just on, and we had the best time. We got to spend more time together. We saw amazing things that we really would not have seen in any other way. We met amazing people, amazing Let's Go family members, and a lot of people who weren't even Let's Go family members, but they were just as amazing. They just need to find us. But um, we had really an unbelievable experience. And to stay home or to miss the amazing princess experience because I'm a little ticked that they are charging $14.99 for a medallion that they use for marketing purposes. Um, that would be silly of me. Think of how much I would miss. So I wanna tell you that too. And when you think of trying another cruise line because of the things that they are adding on the charges for here, I really, um, let's, I'm going to try to find out about this a little bit more and do more, I'm going to do more research and compare really what you get. It's a little hard because different drink packages include different things, so it gets a little sticky. But just across the board, um, when I look at how much drink packages are with other things and the different things you get for it, Princess isn't out of line with that, but we'll talk about it more. So let me know what you find and how it compares and everything that goes with that. There are big changes. Um, I noticed that some things are up on Holland America as well. Um, so I just think it's the way we're going and we can either choose to go with it or stay home on our couch and I'm gonna go with it because there's still places that I wanna go. There are so many people that I wanna meet and it makes me a better person and changes me as I do it. So that's what I'm gonna do and I wanna hear what all of you are going to do about it, how it makes you change your travel plans, or if you leave them the same. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to hearing about it. So if any of you have any questions about it or anything else you want to, oh, one other thing, medallion shipping. This is really important. The charge that Princess charges, that $10 for your medallion shipping, we have had people that have had to pay that $10 even though they had the plus package. I've got people um, really nice um, that have booked a cruise with me and then they decided to add the plus package after they had already ordered their medallion. And um, so a few things about that. First of all, don't order your medallion until it gets closer to your cruise. They're not going to ship it to you until a couple of weeks out anyway. You can ask for it now, um, you know, for your cruise in a few months, but they're not going to send it to you. So I would definitely wait until it gets a little bit closer unless you know you've got that package and you're keeping it then order it and it's out of your way but if you don't have it and there's a chance you might change your mind don't order it until it's closer and you know for sure what you're going to do because every time without fail that I have called Princess and this includes their partner advocate line um, and asked if I could please have that $10 refunded to the client because they have booked um, they paid for the medallion then they changed their mind and added the plus they every time without fail have told me they have to get it back on board then I hear some people are able to get it back on board and some aren't. I think you have to really put your foot down if you're going to get it back on board and then you still might be lucky. So those of you who are trying that, could I please hear from you? Let me know how it's going. Let me know what worked for you in getting that back. And then at the same time, I know it's just $10. I know it's the principal, but um, that's where we are and I don't know what else to do about it. So if any of you have any suggestions, let us know. And if you have any other um, questions about this or things you think we need to talk about this as a Let's Go family, um, I would really like to hear from that as well. So don't don't miss joining us tomorrow. And tonight, at um, we are planning at 8 p.m. Eastern to do um, our live. We're gonna talk about, you all can bring your questions about the cruise we just went on. We're definitely gonna talk about these changes some more, some impact things impacting those we need to talk more about south america 2024 2025 and alaska 2025 oh my gosh i made some groups for that oh it is so exciting you guys so i look forward to seeing you tonight as well as tomorrow and every day after that so i'll be talking to you all again really soon you all take really good care god bless you love you <laughs> Bye bye